Hi everyone, this is Carol. Welcome to the official channel Video Vlogger. In today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to use some simple footage to create an optical flares intro in your video. You can free download the software through the link we put in the description box down below. And now, let's get into today's video. Let's take a quick look at the sample here. We can notice that the elements in the video image change around the optical flares effect. So, we might need to work on the fact first. Launch your software. Create a new project. Import a video clip and the optical flares materials into the software. Drag the Holly B video into the video track. Move the playhead to the point where you wish to add the optical flares effect. Then, place the optical flares video to the overlay track. And move the playhead to find a frame where the flares are most visible. This action could be helpful for the subsequent editing work. Then, come to the preview window. Adjust the rotation angle and the size of the flares and enable it to cross diagonally from the top left to the bottom right on the image to create a cutting screen effect. Once you have finished your adjustment, go to the inspector on the right, find blend mode, choose screen mode. Preview the fact in the preview window. We could see there is an edge noticeable between the light animating from the flares and the video image. Don't worry, we can fix that. Scroll up in the inspector and find color and filter editor. Click it. Adjust the parameters in the customer area on the right hand to make the flares more visible and focused on the image, and at the same time to weaken the edge. Hit apply. Now we can see clearly the effect blending well into the image. Play and preview it. Let's do some about the speed of the effect, which we can see is moving rather slowly on the screen. Find the speed icon in the toolbar, and open the speed editor panel. We use a jump preset to make the flares reach at fastest speed when it gets to the center of the image. This also helps enhance the visual impression of the flares cutting through the screen in the video. Adjust the keyframes again. Hit apply. And let's plan a preview how it works out. Move along. We're going to create an effect where the image frame follows the moves of the flares to cut a screen. Import a background image with solid color. Find the plus icon on the leftmost side of the overlay track. Click it to add a new overlay track. Move the playhead to the frame where the flares get to the center of the screen. Then, drag the solid color image to this point. Again, adjust the rotation and size in the preview window to ensure the image covers half of the main video screen and keep the edge of the image in line with the flares. Then, we come to the inspector and find blend mode again. Choose divide mode. Well, it looks a little bit too much here. But that's fine, we'll just exposure, contrast, and saturation. And let's check the effect again. Pretty nice. After we add the optical flares effect into the image, let's add some text to enrich your image. Find text icon in the toolbar. Click it. In the inspector on the right, adjust the relevant parameters including text, text space, text shadow. Don't forget to apply animation effect, which helps smoothen the process as the text shows up. Pull down the appear option, choose fading effect. Move the slider to adjust the time. 
And here, I want to do something more to create a gradient effect in the text following the move of the optical flares. Well, adjust the duration of the text effect to keep in line with the frame where the flares reach your image center. Click the plus icon on the leftmost side to create a subtitle track. Then, find the gradient effect in the title library on the top left. Drag it to the subtitle track. Now you can see there are two tags appearing in the image at the same time. This could make it easier to keep both tags in line with each other while editing. Click Add a Text in the inspector. Adjust your parameters to the same as the first one in the screen. But for this one, you added the gradient color in the text color here. Because the screen is cut into two pieces from top to bottom, and I'm gonna go with the second angle preset here. Hit apply. Move the slider to adjust the position to keep it aligned with the position of the first text. When finished, drag it to the subtitle track and keep it right next to the first text effect. And we are done here. The elements in the image are pretty dynamic so far. But since the video is an integration of both the audio and visual effect, we gotta work on the audio effect of the video intro. Import a sword sound effect and a piece of instrumental soundtrack together to the software. Drag the sound effect into the audio track. Move the playhead to the frame where the flares is right in the center. Then. Move the sound effect to ensure the pitch point of the waveform remains consistent with the frame. Then, add another audio track to make sure the sound effect comes right after the optical flares effect shows up. We drag the sound to the audio track. Align the sound waveform to the ending point. Add fade out effect in the inspector. Let's preview. Alright, now you've reached the end of today's video about how to create an optical flares intro in Video Pro Vlogger. I think you've got it. Anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. We'll see you soon in our next tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.